Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. One year ago today, on January 7th, 2020, and today is 2021, Puerto Rico had a magnitude 6.4 earthquake. One person was killed and over 2,568 people reported feeling that earthquake. In the last seven days, there's been over 125 earthquakes in that location. I have noticed that this earthquake swarm continues with no major foreshock or aftershock from all these small earthquakes, the largest being a magnitude 3.8. In the past, month there's only been two earthquakes of magnitude 4.5 or greater a 4.8 10 kilometers in depth and a 4.7 9 kilometers in depth puerto rico is slowly being crushed by the movement of the caribbean plate subducting under the muertos trough further north we have the north american plate subducting underneath the caribbean plate and poor Puerto Rico is being crushed between this war of the tectonic movements. On USA Today, they have an image of what's going on. Here we have the Caribbean Sea, the Caribbean Plate, the Munetos Trough, and the Atlantic Ocean. Both are subducting, and like I said, poor Puerto Rico is being crushed in between the middle. A paper put out by USGS says that after this 6.4 earthquake that occurred on January 7th of 2020, they would expect a sequence of earthquakes and the probability of a magnitude 5 or 6 or greater aftershocks remain high now and in the future. It says here that earthquakes will persist for years to decades, although decreasing in frequency. It also says that Within the next year, well, it's been a year, there is a 5 to 10% chance of a magnitude 7 or greater earthquake. It's been a while since I've done a report about Puerto Rico, the Mona Passage, and other earthquakes of historical um, significance that occurred, occurred here in the past. And we have noticed this year that the continents definitely are on the move. There has been an increase and the movement of the continents and earthquake activity. In 1842, north of the Dominican Republic, there was a magnitude 8.1 earthquake. There wasn't as many people living there as there is now, but over 5,000 people lost their lives because of the subsequent tsunami and uh, liquefaction where the sand, the beaches, uh, turned to quicksand and people were killed buried in the sand up to their necks this is from wikipedia where it says approximately 5,000 people were killed by the effects of the earthquake shaking and another 300 by the tsunami in 1918 there was a 7.3 earthquake that occurred on october 11 1918 that earthquake also created a tsunami on this document here, it says that the fatalities were around 115 people. And in today's dollars, uh, there was $63 million in damage. There's a lot more people living in this area, a lot more infrastructure. So if there was, in fact, a, another 7.3 event, yeah, can you imagine the loss of life, the damage? NOAA.gov has a map of that tsunami and how it, stretched out around the Caribbean, all the way down South America. Yeah, it even wrapped its way up around um, the western side of South America, Africa, etc. Here on this paper, it says that the tsunami was 6 meters or um, 19 feet 6 inches. Um, 116 people were killed and 100 were reported missing. Yeah, you can see here we got one by the Mona Passage. That was a magnitude 3.6, and that was deep, 66 kilometers in depth. And then up where we have subsidence along the Puerto Rico Trench, we got a magnitude 3.6, 52 kilometers in depth, and a magnitude 3.7, 50 kilometers in depth. Yeah, you should take this serious. 129 earthquakes in the last week 
I believe uh, just down south here, um, 109, and then in the last day, we got 16. Sending prayers to everyone there in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic and the other islands. Hope you guys have a plan. Um, hope you are prepared for a large earthquake. Yeah, I really think something's coming. I don't think this recent swarm. Yeah, it could be from the aftershock from a year ago. One year ago today, that's 6.4. But always be prepared. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.